بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحب في الله The Prophet صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said لا تسبوا أصحابي He said do not curse my companions رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين May Allah سبحانه وتعالى be pleased with all of them And as it's well known there are whole sects and whole traditions and whole movements that are dedicated to cursing the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala ayna majma'een this is well known Ahabati fillah why we have to defend the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala ayna majma'een is because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said do not curse his companions and he spoke about the companions in the highest regard and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran praised the companions of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in asabikun asabikun uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that they were those who proceeded in khair min al-muhajirin wal ansar from the people who made hijra from uh, Mecca to Medina and the people of Medina, the Ansar who greeted them, who the Prophet ﷺ made the brotherhood, the Islamic brotherhood. They're the example and the model of Islamic brotherhood. And on top of that, Ahabati Fillah, Sahabatu Rasul ﷺ, radiallahu ta'ala majma'in, they also, aside from being the Salaf of this Ummah and setting the best of examples for us, and being praised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost and praised by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam secondly they radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een were also those people who compiled the Qur'an the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you think and if you were to reflect you would realize that Allah the Almighty the creator of the heavens and earth the only one worthy of worship Al-Hakim, Al-Alim. He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, gave us the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'een, as an example, and they, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used them, chose, he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, chose them to be companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And on top of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also used them to defend, to expand, and to preserve the religion. Because we wouldn't know what the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is if it weren't for the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'een and the Salaf of this Ummah, the narrators of Ahadith, Hadith the men, Hadith the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We wouldn't have it. That's how Allah chose to preserve His religion, through men, through something that's practical, that we can see. And the Qur'an is perfect, the, free, the, the perfect speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Below al-mahfuz. And it's also with us in this dunya that we have the Qur'an. And it was compiled by men, by Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnati wa khulafa rashidin al-mahdeen. It's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the khulafa rashidin al-mahdeen, the rightly guided khalifa. Not Abu Bakr uh, Iraqi, the guy we're talking about now in ISIS, but no, we're talking about the Khulafa Rashidin, the rightly guided Khalifa, those people who are mustahik fi hadha, those people who were uh, chosen and they were, that was their right to be Khalifa. Not someone who just comes up and appears on the scene and says they're the Khalifa by killing and slaughtering and doing all the things that they do. But we're talking about the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majma'een. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, اِفْتَرَكَتِ الْيَهُودَ لَإِثْتُ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَ وَإِفْتَرَكَتِ النَّسَالَ لَإِثْتَنَتَيْنَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَ وَسَتَفْتَرِكُ هَذِي أُمَّ لَا ثَلَاثَ وَسَبْعِينَ فِرْقَ كُلَّهَا فِي النَّارَ الْوَاحِدَ كُلَّ مَنْ هِيَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ قَالَ مَنْ كَانَ عَلَى مِثْهُ مَا كَانَ عَلَيْهِ the Prophet ﷺ said, those who are upon my sunnah and the sunnah of my companions, or kama qala nabiyyu, 
sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So habati fillah. Don't get discouraged. Don't ever uh, allow and listen to someone speaking ill about the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, cursing them, especially the, from the Shia, the Rafida, and other groups that curse them. They make it their priority. That's their creed. That's their aqidah. That's their ittaqad. That is their belief. That's their worldly paradigm. Is that the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, should be cursed and made takfir of and should be, and Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, they say that she was a zaniya, and a'udhu billah, and, and have parties, we've seen it, you've seen the gatherings, you can see it on YouTube, you can see it, and these are not masquerade things, these are real gatherings, where they gather together, and celebrate, and teach their children, to curse uh, the companions, and curse Aisha, the ummah um, uh, um, mu'minin, she's one of the mothers of, of the believers, but they curse her. So how could believe, how could that be from Iman to curse her? But instead that's from Kufr. That's from Zandaka. That's from heresy. And that's from wickedness and evil. And Ahabatifillah, one last thing I want to mention is be careful of du'at. And this can happen. People can speak and make mistakes and say things about the Sahaba. But someone who does not correct their mistakes and they continue to speak and use the Sahaba as examples in a negative light, then these people you should run from. You should run from as if it is a plague coming to you. Run from it because they can only offer you their sickness. How? Because there is an, it's an infection. What does a plague do? A plague infects people. And what does a corrupt aqidah do, it will infect the people who are listening. So may Allah protect us, may Allah preserve us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahlul Sunnah and those who make ta'zim Allah and ta'zim Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajmeen, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ikhlas with the battle of Sunnah, with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Prophet Muhammad, 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 and the Prophet